Aloha and welcome everybody. I'm very excited to be with you this week. My name is Paul Fletcher and this is The Healing Source. So as we do each and every week in this podcast, we delve into the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Jigang Sha and the Tao teachings. So these wisdom and teachings have transformed literally hundreds of thousands, if not a million people's lives, and they continue to do so around the world. This series, series number seven, is called the Ten Da. The Ten Da means the ten greatest. The ten greatest what? The ten greatest qualities. Well, okay, that's nice, but what does that mean? Well, you know, Dr. Master Shah is my, my teacher, and he has brought great wisdom to humanity. For the past 20 plus years, he's written over 30 books. And English is not his native language, Mandarin Chinese is. But when he writes the books, he uses very advanced words. And then he has to ask the people that are, that are transcripting the words, what does that mean? So he receives the messages in flow. And uh, many years ago, about 10 years ago, he received these 10 greatest qualities. And he was given the mandate to bring these qualities to humanity, not by teaching them, but by emulating and being those qualities. So it's the best way to identify anyone who has um, the qualities of a great being of love and light. doesn't matter if we're talking about the Dalai Lama or, or, or any other um, great being of love and light, especially like those from the past, Buddhas and Jesus, and Krishnas and more. Anytime you're trying to uh, identify it as someone has zero agenda and only desire to serve humanity, then you can tell by how they bring themselves. Are they free of ego? Do they uh, have uh, nothing but unconditional love? Do they give freely of, of their abundance? Do they represent the qualities that they speak of? And in the case of this teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, uh, I, I personally believe the answer is yes. These 10 qualities are the greatest love, forgiveness, compassion, and light, greatest humility, harmony, and today greatest flourishing. The next week is gratitude, service, and enlightenment, the next couple of weeks. So these 10 qualities uh, are qualities that that honestly, every single human being needs to bring more of into their field, into their environment. If we can be more loving towards ourselves and others, have more forgiveness, more humility, be more harmonious in our thoughts, words, and actions, if we can radiate light and compassion, then all humanity benefits. And if every human being started employing those qualities in their life, then we could be that advanced, enlightened society that we all want to be. So this quality this week is Da Chang Sheng, which is the seventh of the 10 qualities, and it translates to the greatest flourishing. That's one of my favorites because I like flourishing. I like financial blessings. I like wealth. And the vast majority of us do not fit in the category of millionaire or billionaire. We fit in the category of struggling and doing the best we can. Now, there are certainly going to be plenty who are doing this fine. Uh, and there are plenty who are struggling. So the greatest flourishing does not always mean wealth. This is the first thing to understand. The greatest flourishing is actually more aligned to an understanding that when we are in alignment with these qualities, being a representative of a love, forgiveness, compassion, light, being humble, being you know having humility, and uh, making sure that our thoughts, words, and actions are harmonious. When we represent those qualities in our life, there is a natural side effect of receiving. And what are you receiving? You're receiving more love. You're receiving forgiveness from those that maybe you held, you know, some issues with. You're receiving compassion from others. You're receiving light from others. You're not in, in head-butting arguments because you're not in the self-righteous space. And other people, therefore, are open to hearing what you have to say. 
There is greater harmony in your health, greater harmony in your uh, in your uh, finances, greater harmony in your relationships. Why? Because you've employed all those, and that means the flourishing in your life is reflected in all of these aspects. The biggest uh, mindset blockage that people have around flourishing is that it's only about money. Money is an energy. Money is nothing more than a form of transference. It, it, just as we, we can transfer anger or we can transfer love. We can transfer just about anything. Money is simply an energetic exchange. It says, I'm here to serve you. What are you going to do with me? If with the money you receive, you serve others, then more will come. If you hold on to it and hoard it, then there's no place for the next money to come. So money is actually something that is very misunderstood by most of us here in humanity. The greatest flourishing and the ideology behind the greatest flourishing has many levels of wisdom. One of those is I'm going to share with you here. For each of these 10 qualities, Dr. Master Shah has created a, I have to locate it, has created a um, set of words, uh, phrases, if you will. These phrases are a mantra, and we'll chant them in a little bit, but I want you to see the wisdom behind them. Chi Da Chang Shang, the seventh of the 10 greatest qualities, is the greatest flourishing. Dao Si Ying Fu. Dao source. What is Dao source? Dao source is basically repeating the same words because Dao is source. Source is Dao. So the source bestows huge blessings and good fortune in all life. See, when you stop and think about it, what are you? What are I? Where would we be without our source? <laughs> Did we create ourselves? <laughs> of course not. So the source actually created us. And the source nourishes us. This is very important to understand. The source creates and the source nourishes. This is similar to Mother Earth. Mother Earth is where we live, but she nourishes us, doesn't she? She's an unconditional servant. This is a very highly advanced uh, soul, one could say. So the source created everything. But that's like saying the source created a painting, but didn't create anyone to come watch and enjoy and receive the emotions through the painting. The source created all of us, but if the source didn't give us everything to nourish us like the greatest flourishing, then we missed the boat. And so it's important to grasp why this part is here, why this sentence is here. So let me bring it back up again. The source bestows huge and good fortune in all life. So it's already bestowed upon us. The question then becomes, how come we're not receiving it? We're going to go into that in a little bit. Xing Shang Ji Du. This is the third of the four phrases. Do kind things to accumulate virtue. Virtue is good karma. So if we do kind things, meaning our thoughts and words and actions, most people do not pay attention to the thoughts and words, just their actions, but all three equate to the natural side effect of accumulating virtue. It's not something you do purposefully. It's something as a natural side effect. You help people. You help people to be happier and healthier. The fourth line is Dao Ye Chang Sheng. The Dao career flourishes. So this can be a little confusing to people. Master Shah created a special calligraphy for Dao Ye Chang Sheng. And, uh, but when people trace it, uh, huge financial flourishing comes. So Dao Ye Chang Sheng, Dao Career Flourishes. What that means is follow nature's way and you will flourish. Dao is source. Career is nature's way. Flourishing means getting more of whatever it is you're wanting. So when you follow nature's way, you flourish. Well, what is following nature's way? Nature's way is um, the obvious, such as if it's freezing, you know, wear warm clothes. But the other obvious is you are not alone. Share with others. Money uh, is not supposed to come to you and stop. It's supposed to come to you and continue to serve. So as you receive, also serve. And if you do that with positive thoughts as you receive, you serve. You've heard of paying it forward. So this all follows along the same uh, line of logic. 
by working with this higher understanding, we can transform a lot and we can be a far greater service. That's actually one of the most important lines. When we get to the ninth of the 10 Da's, it's called the greatest service. So I'm going to have a lot more to say about being a service and what that actually looks like. But let's go back now to why do we might have some difficulties with flourishing. As I touched on in the last episode, our thoughts, words, and actions have a predecessor. What precedes them is our beliefs. <clears throat> and a lot of us have difficulties um, with our financial flourishing, business success, personal success, whatever it might be. That boils back to our beliefs. Well, there's also an entirely, uh, I would not say different, but coming into the light set of consciousness around manifestation. There's a lot of people that now are working with a consciousness of manifestation, myself included. And I've done teachings on this on other avenues. So if you miss those, go to my YouTube channel, Wellspring of Light on YouTube, and you can find those as well as here on my Facebook videos. And so I'm going to touch on some of these manifestation principles in correlation with uh, the greatest flourishing. Let's think about this from a perspective of um, you have heard and I have heard and most of us have unless you've been sleeping under a rock that what we think is what we create. Okay. Well, if our thoughts are have a precursor, which is the belief then we need to shift that belief. How do we shift that belief? This is where manifestation can be of assistance to us. The thing about working with manifestation is we want to be able to uh, adjust the emotion connected with that manifestation. So the belief carries with it a thought. The thought carries with it emotion that's tied to that belief. That emotion typically is not a positive one if the end result is not a positive one as well, right? So the negative belief creates a negative thought, which creates a negative emotion, which creates a negative uh, life in front of you, whatever area of life you're not enjoying that's not representing uh, flourishing. So we need to change the belief, as said. But in order to change the belief, what do we do? We change our emotions and we change the thought, which changes the belief. So if we just try to change the belief, we'll have resistance from the mind. But if we change the thought and the emotion, then it naturally creates a shift in the external representation, which then changes our belief. Okay, I'll repeat that again. Identify the ideal thought. So if, you, if you're having trouble with flourishing, what is the ideal scenario that your mind won't have difficulty with? Let's say an extra $1,000 a month. That's probably happened to you before where you had an extra thousand dollars here or there. It's something that's happened. It was exciting and it's something you can believe in because it's happened before, right? And so that's a belief. That's a new thought, okay? I can see an extra thousand dollars a month coming in. I don't know where it's going to come from, but I know it's happened before and it can happen again. And so then you have this thought of an extra thousand dollars. Then what do you do? Then you apply the emotion of what, what does that extra thousand dollars do for you? Ah, it uh, brings in emotions. What kind of emotions are you having when you have that extra thousand dollars? Ah, sense of relief is one of them, right? And then you also have a, a sense of excitement because you can finally get that one thing you've been putting off for the last six months. And you might have a sense of, of um, being able to exhale so because you don't have to worry about next month's rent and so you bathe in that and you see that extra thousand coming every month visually you just see you know a little extra in that paycheck or a little extra in the checking account okay and you see the bills at zero and you feel most importantly spend all your energy on the feeling of that bill being paid off the feeling of that rent being caught up, the feeling of the car being paid off, the feeling of relief. You embellish that feeling and embellish that feeling and stay with that feeling. Don't spend too much time in the visual. Spend more time on the emotion. 
And that is your default space. Now, again, I taught this not too long ago. So when you have this default space, this default uh, visual and emotion, then that then becomes your manifesting um, tool to transform the belief that is not serving you. You have to keep in mind that flourishing is rarely instant. Sometimes it can be. You can say, I'd like this, and it shows up an hour later. But at least at this point in time in this third dimension of reality, it takes weeks, days, maybe a month before what we ask for shows up. Okay, so when it doesn't show up, that appears to validate the old belief, right? So what we need to do is position ourselves to not give validation to the old belief by what shows up. How do we do that? We have our predetermined thought of what it is we're wanting. We have our, our predetermined emotions and we've been in that emotion and we enjoy that emotion that brings a smile to our face. And then uh, what when we are in that visualization, when we're in that emotion, it literally is creating your new future. Next, next day, next week, next month, it will be there. It's already in process of coming to you. But what derails it is when we go back to seeing something in our present that validates something from the past. So now that we know by having this vision, by having this focused emotion, we are creating what it is we're wanting. The key is simply to hold that and not give empowerment to anything in our present moment that might appear to invalidate it. So when we have any kind of a negative thought from the past, any kind of a negative fear-based whatever that is against validation, that is against um, where we want to be, we simply uh, see it, acknowledge it, thank you, but that's from the past, that's from an old belief. This is now where my attention is, and you go back to your default and new vision and your default and emotion. And you might need to do that 20, 30, 40 times a day. But you do it as many times as it takes. And then uh, next day or uh, several days or a week later, you start getting validation of your new series of thoughts and emotions. And money trickles in and somebody pays off this bill and somebody helps you out over here. So you didn't have to pay somebody that was going to help you because a friend showed up and that saved you 200. And, and you know, different things happen from different ways that come to validate, wow, thousand dollars is coming to me different might not be cash could be where you were expecting to pay a bill and, and it didn't because it was covered a different way or it was supposed to be this much and it was reduced by x amount and then it, if you do the math by the end of that month you earned a thousand dollars so you have to look for all the different forms of validation that then creates your new your new uh, belief wow I can easily manifest another thousand dollars, extra thousand dollars a month. It's not a big deal. It's already happened. So this is how you shift these old beliefs that might have very, very deep roots. Of course, the other ways is to work with the source calligraphies. So let's do that now, shall we? For those of you that are new, uh, Dr. Master Shah provides different toolkits for us. One of them is these source calligraphies. Let's see if I've got mine queued up here of Da Chong Sheng. Here we go. We'll share that. And Da Chong Sheng uh, means the greatest flourishing. So when we trace these calligraphies, we are able to transform some of these negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that we're holding on to, and they have less pull, less effect. Uh, so while you are using this manifestation technique that I've just shared, you also want to work with Da Chang Shang, the source calligraphy, to help release the old patterns. So let's do that together. We're going to employ the four power technique. Body power is touching all five fingers together to follow the lines of the source calligraphy. And again, for those that are on podcast listening, I will serve you. I will trace on your behalf and you will receive additional flourishing. Um, but for those that can see on the video, then uh, you would trace these with your five fingers touching. That's your body power. You're, you're going to visualize this this um, new ideal. So take a moment, everybody, don't matter where you're at, what is the new ideal that you would like? Is it that, uh, um, that new position in your career path? Is it an additional $1,000 in flourishing? What, what is it that you want to see? And I want you to see that 
And as we trace this, I want you to go into the emotion of that having already been completed. What does it feel like that it's already done? Okay, that's your visual. Uh, the sound power, we're going to chant the mantra, Da Chang Sheng, uh, greatest flourishing. And for the uh, soul power, repeat after me. Uh, dear, this source calligraphy of Da Chang Sheng, I love you, Ani, appreciate you. As I trace you, could you please bless, heal and rejuvenate my finances, my flourishing. Help me to transform any negative beliefs, mindsets, or attitudes that have limited flourishing in my life. Thank you. That's a soul power, okay? So let us go ahead and start tracing, touching all five fingers together. Da Chang Chung. And do this. Uh, the soul of Da Chang Chung. Please bless all of those that are listening on podcast uh, as they cannot trace. Da Chang Chung. Those on podcast can close their eyes and see the visualization of their desired result already being done. And most importantly, everybody focus on that emotion of it being completed. Da Chang Sheng. 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 Greatest flourishing, greatest flourishing, greatest flourishing, greatest flourishing, greatest flourishing. Greatest flourishing, greatest flourishing, greatest flourishing. Da Chang Sheng, Da Chang Sheng. Da Chang Sheng. Da Chang Sheng. Greatest flourishing. Greatest flourishing. Greatest flourishing. Greatest flourishing. Da Chang Sheng. Da Chang Sheng. Da Chang Sheng. Da Chang Sheng. Da Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing. Bless is my finances, my success. Bless is my flourishing. Thank you. See light. See the end result that you desire. What is that emotion that goes with that? Feel that emotion. Feel that end desired result already done. The relief the excitement, the joy, the happiness. Just expand that joy, expand that happiness, expand that end result 
Thank you, Source. I'm so grateful. It happens so easily. Heaven always has a way to do everything. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you for helping me to consistently allow you to deliver this blessing to me and getting out of my own way. Thank you for assisting me with adjusting my beliefs so that I am not affected negatively by any negative beliefs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So come to the end of tracing the source calligraphy of Da Chang Shang. Very powerful. Wonderful. Okay. So you might notice if you're if you're uh, paying attention, you might notice some tingling in your body. It's not uncommon for that to occur. Um, and remember, flourishing does not have a direct association to cash money. Flourishing can show up in the form of improved health, improved set of life conditions around you. Maybe there's a coworker that um, has been impacting you emotionally and they get moved to another area. That's flourishing, guys, because that uh, coworker could be impacting your ability to perform your job well, which could be impacting your ability to get uh, moved into a different position if that's what you're wanting. So sometimes flourishing can show up in subtle ways that we don't realize that these subtle things are creating a drain. Uh, they're creating fear. They're creating worry. They're creating uh, disconnect and aspects of depression or anger. And we can we can actually, if you pay attention, you see a shift in those things around us that create these emotional disharmonies that affect your flourishing. You might also get help from people when it weren't expecting it. That's a form of flourishing. Look for these purposefully. The more you acknowledge them, the more of them you're going to receive. Okay? Always look to acknowledge everything you have. Uh, next week, we're going to be focusing a lot on gratitude, as that is the eighth of the ten. Da. And uh, there's so much wisdom with an understanding gratitude because it is directly related to your flourishing. But we'll save that for next week. Okay? So I want to thank you all so much for coming. As always, like, share, and subscribe. If you're new and you'd like to, to be more involved, get personal healing, personal guidance, uh, you can contact me through my website, wellspringoflight.com. And I'll be happy to serve you. Of course, I'm on all the social media channels as well. You can message me through there. And I will connect with you as soon as possible. So until next week, have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.